Located on the edge of Skid Row, the King Eddie Saloon has been pouring stiff drinks for more than a century. But during Prohibition, the good times went underground, literally. Is he taken? To explore the bar's hidden past, I met up with Chris Caston, the King Eddie's current owner, and Philip Dobard, director of the Museum of the American Cocktail. So I'm on the hunt for uh, Prohibition era tunnels. Mm. Said Moses actually at, at Cole sent me down here. He said, I had to check out the King Eddie. Okay. Well, Am I at the right place? You are at the right place. Okay. Uh, we're one of the oldest bars in downtown Los Angeles. But before that, this was a piano store. And below us, uh, and still lots of evidence is there today, uh, was a speakeasy. The speakeasy was running all through Prohibition and supposedly there was tunnel access from City Hall. And is it still there? The tunnel is still there, the access is walled off. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'd love to go see it. Let's do it. All right. Follow me, guys. Watch your step. Wow. So is this how people would have gotten downstairs during Prohibition? Uh, yes. All right. This way, guys. Wow. This is ah. so cool. Look at these murals. Yeah. Here's one these? of the largest remaining intact murals. What are these beer mugs? Old tags. Yeah. Frosty beer pouring out. Generous pours back during Prohibition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are supposed to look like big beer barrels. Yes. Did they actually casks. serve out of barrels back, or casks? Yes. And so they would set them up like right here? I assume they would be right here. You yeah, just yeah. open the, wow, amazing. We're out here. I don't know if you can see some of these. Oh yeah. Fantasy yeah. style. Mm -hmm. uh, very Disney inspired. So this was the speakeasy. How many people yeah. fit down here? I assume they didn't have much of a problem with capacity rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Uh, you could fit, you know, 100, 150, maybe. You probably wow, would have had to have a little wink and a nod to the piano shop upstairs. There was a password, right? I'd assume, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the liquor itself, or the beer, or the, or the Canadian whiskey, how did that get in? That came through the tunnels? If it didn't come through the tunnels, then yeah. it would have uh, been disguised and gone through the sidewalk elevator lifts, um, right. which there's a collapsed one we can take a look at. All right, through here. Wow, it just keeps on going. Yeah, yeah. and then back here is the old ice chest. Ah, oh, wow. All right. Oh, so this was the most important part of the speakeasy. Indeed. Easy. If Indeed. you wanted a cold beer, yeah. Massive blocks of ice. Right? Yeah. And then if we go around this way, I can show you the lift to the street. Yeah. Which is pretty much all collapsed at this point, but still so worth this, checking out. This is going to be Los Angeles Street right, right Above here. Above us is Los Angeles oh, Street. Oh, really? So, so we're on the sidewalk. the sidewalk right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. This and is the lift. You can see the old gears. The, uh, it had a you know one of those cast iron grates that would yeah. open on the sidewalk mm -hmm. and you could load it with whatever. So follow me around this way. Oh wow. And uh, here's where the old tunnel used to be, the old entrance. Amazing. Can I take a look? Yeah, yeah. please. Oh wow. Well, there's a lot of stuff in there. So according to the urban lore, this supposedly goes to City Hall. Oh, right. Uh, uh, how cool. Well, they VIPs would yeah. come this way, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. follow me up. 